Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is your source for authentic tarot and astrology, magic, and manifestation. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be doing a road opening reading. For those of you guys that don't know, road opening is the ability to work with your spiritual guides and your ancestors and the divine in order to bulldoze any obstacles or blockages that stand in your way of being successful. It's inspired by the road opener fixed candle that I have currently, I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but it's currently burning, available in my shop. It's brand new. Um, but yeah, I was definitely inspired to have this here. It's something that I've created for myself many times. I don't know why I didn't think to share it with you guys. I think it's just something that I just automatically assumed, you know, I had because I use it so often. But either way, here it is. Um, I'll link it down below. But this is a phenomenal candle and phen phenomenal magic for um, removing any obstacles or blockages to your health. So helping you to be healthy. Um, anything that stops you from being successful in your business, anything that's stopping you from being protected. If you feel like life has been stagnant and you've been stuck in one place, uh, a road opener candle will bulldoze that. Um, any goal that it is that you have, they'll work towards that, okay? So I have three piles here. Each one of these piles are actually what were once living butterflies. Each one was collected um, ethically. These wings were actually found in my backyard earlier today. So I collected them and then knew that I was gonna be using them for a pick a card reading. And this is the one that really stood out to me. Also, I found it so significant that the orange pattern of the butterfly wings also matches the um, road opener candle, the color that I chose, okay? So for pile number one, we have this wing and this pile. It's like a medium sized butterfly wing. For pile number two, we have this butterfly. I believe I got this. Um, I'm not sure actually, I forget, but it was ethically sourced. And for pile number three, we have the larger wing, okay? So all the cards that I'm using will be linked down below, including this tarot deck, the Bocelli tarot. I will, you know, meet you at your time stamp, stamps and see what spirit has to say for what roads are ready to open in your life. Okay, so if you chose the medium size butterfly, let's go ahead and look into what spirit sees is a road that they want to open for you. So the first card to jump out are is the Seven of Swords reversed. Um, it's interesting because Seven of Swords reversed can show cheating, scandal, deception, manipulation, but something that's really standing out to me is I am almost getting a sense that you haven't entirely known what's next for you. It feels like your ability to plan for the future, it it's, um, has like a big question mark. I'm almost hearing spirits telling me like you might have been, or you might be someone who is leaving it up to fate and just allowing things to flow I believe that that served a purpose at one point, but right now spirit is wanting you to actually make a plan. This might have to do with your path and your purpose here on earth, your life. Let's say you have already been in a specific industry in your career. You may have had some level of like that, I just, I'm, I'm hearing like dried out, like the path that you were going in that career, or if you're going to school for that, it dried out. So the passion for that, or maybe you were burned out, or maybe you felt, wow, interesting. We have the moon card here. 
Some of you guys might really be, wow, and the world card. Some of you guys might end the four of wands. Very interesting. And the page of pentacles. Some of you guys, nine of wands, nine of cups. Why well, keep sh shuffling? I'm seeing a lot of psychology here. Psychology or intuition or group healing. Um, I'm hearing like ending public suffering. So helping people to heal themselves, move forward for certain things. Some of you guys, you might actually be teachers, but it's interesting because if you are a teacher, you almost show up as a mother to a lot of different children. Or as a teacher, you end up acting like a therapist or a healer to them in some way. I can't tell right now if this is something that you're being led into or led away from and out of. But there's this energy here of what path is opening for you something involving therapy psychology or life path and um or how that intertwines with your life path path or how it's already served its role or purpose also i would not be surprised if some of you guys you ended up in you were once a helper or a healer in some way so you might have been a social worker or you might have been an advocate and you had a you have a lot of intuitive gifts you have a lot of intuitive strengths and you could apply those intuitive gifts as as much as you could in the that original career but now it's almost like spirit is leading you away from that now in order to use your gifts because it almost felt like the weight of the world was creating dis dysfunction and chaos for you and your gifts where you couldn't really, it's like an empath who's overly absorbing. So you started off your path helping others or being un, uh, understanding that you knew that you were gonna be helping others. And now you might even have a sense of helping the world in a greater way, but you just don't know how to do it or where you fall within this. Um, and it's interesting too, we have the hangman card reverse here. There's something here that it's like, I, I, I don't want to say this to you, but the, the point of this reading is the road opener, right? So this is something that spirit is wanting to open a path that spirit is calling you to open in your life, calling you to make progress with or begin to work with spirit or work with your guides or at least take those steps for yourself too or combination. So for some of you guys, you this... this um, this thing that you've been telling yourself where you're like, I'm just going to go with the flow and continue and carry on and then life will unfold and I will know. Spirit is saying that it was, it's good in the very beginning or it's good for a few years, but it starts to now spirit wants the road for you to open is for you to start making a decision or you start gaining more clarity as far as what decisions you are to make when it comes to you helping heal the world or they want to open the door and open the path for you to have more people accessible to you so that you can help heal the world as a reader as an intuitive as a, um, an actual therapist or whatever the case is however you feel called okay so um with the devil card here reversed this is interesting because it's not only a reflection of some type of circumstances that you might have been called to help people with in the past, um, but it also represents why this path is is narrowing out for you. Meaning like the path that you used to walk that you you have pride, which not to say that you don't, but the path that you were once like excited about and enthusiastic about and had confirmation that you're on the right path it's starting to narrow and make it really clear and obvious to you that you don't want to walk this anymore or that time is kind of ticking for you to kind of loosen yourself and and start talking to spirit about the next plan and it's interesting because the same people that you were once initially drawn to help you're almost starting to mirror them in in i don't know like an energetic like complication so let's say you're a social worker and you're helping all these different families. Those families might have obstacles that stop them, prevent them from being their most thriving best self. And 
it's almost like you're starting to mirror that by staying in this energy too much where you are starting to believe and accept that I can only show up for the world or I can only show up in this way because this is where this is how my circumstances are this because I invested this amount of money in my schooling or whatever the case is I just heard something called saying like triple in value it I don't know for some of you guys you might actually be waiting for something to triple in value before you can um move move on or move out or I'm hearing like you guys want to modernize something and that's the thing so spirit wants to help open the path so that it does actually triple, so that it does actually take off, so that it does actually set, you know, not only root, but begin to fruit so that you can actually feel provided for. That's what spirit is wanting to open the door for you so that you're not overly lingering in the space, kind of waiting for the world to kind of change almost before you decide or before you feel like now's the time for me to move on because it's so clear and so obvious to me. You know what I mean? So let me put these cards away. I feel like that message was very clear and specific. If this is a relationship um, type of energy too, I wouldn't be surprised if you're someone who draws people to you that don't really have a purpose or don't have direction and you're very ambitious and motivated and you find that you're carrying other people around because they can't do it for themselves. It's like finding like a wounded type of energy and you gaining your source of joy in the relationship from helping fix and heal and put someone up on their, on their feet. Um, but if that's the case, spirit wants you to open, at least open the door for them so that they can be successful and do it on their own or for you to open the door for yourself so that you don't have to be lingering in this pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna put this little wing right over here for now and let's look at your oracle. First oracle card, we have Lemon Balm, the card of balance and stability. Then we have with the oracle of the seven energies, we have willing release, exactly. We have a little butterfly there as well, which is very, very beautiful. Then we have for the next card, Divine Matrix. Interesting. This also is giving me like the blue pill, red, red pill. Like what do you, what choice are you going to make? And then also re releasing, not the outcome. I feel like you guys have almost mastered the art of surrender to the point where spirit is like, okay, we gotta balance that out um, because we wanna see you get going. We wanna see you get moving. And then we have time machine. So yeah, for some of you guys, I, I do get this strong sense that you're waiting for the right time or you're waiting for the right moment. And I just don't, this is what I think you're gonna have to release is while you're working your magic, while you're lighting the road opener candle. Um, you know, just sometimes people wait for something, for the opportunity to be, for things to be so perfect and then they make a move. Spirit is saying, we want the path to open for you clearly right now. Um, that don't wait for the perfect right time because that's only going to make you linger and wait for too long. Yep. Next card we have is the anointed. It says, answer the call, leadership, empowerment, and soul gifts. So for many of you guys, you've really been feeling this. You've really been feeling this call. You've really been, that's, and that's something that's been clear over time. And that's the thing that I really want you guys to, to stand out to you is that you don't have to be perfect or you don't have to wait for the right, the most perfect moment. You just really have to, the right moment is when you start to hear the call and it's getting louder and louder and louder for you. And now instead of you waiting for something else to take root or instead of you waiting for, okay, when my son moves out or when my husband gets that job or when my best friend gives me the deposit money that she owes me for whatever, it's, this is about you taking leadership and being leading, taking leadership for your own future and not allowing any type of circumstances to impact and impede you and your journey. 
and especially when it comes to answering the call, when it comes to your soul gifts, the things that the divine naturally gave you, that you were appointed with from the moment that you stepped here on earth, that you are destined and called to, to give generously to people that you might not even know in your work, in your service. Um, so if you don't answer that, it's it's almost like you're kind of disappointing spirit a little bit. Um, so with the road opener candle, I genuinely feel a road opener, a road opener energy um, intentions, you're going to begin to open that. And the other thing too, I want you guys to see is there's so many circles here. I don't know if you guys noticed this. We have this wish, the wish, um, the flower here. We have the time machine and we have the divine matrix. And these, this energy is showing how, number one, how everything is called together, like how everything is connected and it also acts as like a portal for things to open in and also everything kind of flows together. And I just feel like in this cycle, in this season in your life, the road that needs to open is for for you to really get moving or um, starting to gain, gain more clarity on how to use your spiritual gifts, how to use your soul gifts, um, and how you're ultimately going to be sharing that with other people, okay? Yep, coming to life and dry desert. This is what it is that I'm saying. Um, it's interesting because in the dry desert, there's a lot of life, but you can't necessarily see it because they go into hiding. But imagine, you know, if the rains were to come, all of these things would start to, because it's the right time, this thing would start to come to life. I truly am feeling like um, with the road opener, what needs to happen is like the rains of fruitfulness and prosperity and just life need to start pouring into you and divinely inspiring you again. I think that for a season in your life, you actually had to kind of not lay dormant, but stay where you are and help those who you were in a position to help or be where you were at, period, wherever it is that you were at. It taught you a lot about resilience it, you're also being admiring the resilience in other people. There's there's a strong message of that. And now I just feel like you've gathered all that you can gain from that season in your life. And now it's time to begin to set the intention that, you know, this season starts to close out. And then this road that you're you're meant to take starts to really begins to open up. And this part of your life starts to spring into action, starts to spring into movement. And that let's say if this is a relationship too, or your career, that if this is a dry desert situation, that the rains start to come in and that the desert itself starts to become more fertile, or at least a garden or an oasis in the middle of the desert, something that's abundantly yours and thriving, okay? So my loves, I hope this reading resonates with you. I hope it makes sense. Please let me know down in the description box. I'm sorry, please let me know down in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Moving on to pile number two. All right, my loves, if you chose the whole butterfly, this second pile, this is your reading. Um, like I said, all of the cards that I'm working with will be linked down below in my Amazon shop. And um, the road opener fixed candle is available in my apothecary at bahadilife.com. Okay. So let's see what we got going on here for you. Um, Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, the Empress reversed, and Eight of Pentacles. We have Seven of Swords again reversed and Ten of Swords. Very clearly and obviously, I'm getting a strong sense of, um, I just heard, I heard magnetism. This has, I think for a lot of you guys, this has to do with, with your, uh, your ability to be financially stable um, or financial security. Um, I'm getting a strong sense that you have tried very, very hard. You've been working for a very long time or long enough on making money, on securing wealth for yourself or securing or working on your goal. Like this is very financially 
um, focused is what it is that I'm getting, but it just feels like you're going so hard, but maybe not getting the most from it. It feels like almost like the harder you work, it's like someone who works really hard, but they don't charge enough. But then it's like the universe is kind of showing that maybe the audience isn't there to provide for you so that you can be compensated for the amount of work that you've gone through. Um, I'm also getting a strong sense that some of you guys are working on your relationship. I don't know why I'm hearing this, but your relationship with like an ancestor or a guide or it's like a relationship. Uh, apply it where it will. It can be within an actual guide, but it could be also like friendships or connections. It just doesn't feel like you're finding your, like it's as, as, as hard as you try to put into this connection or into connections, it doesn't feel like it's reciprocated. And I genuinely feel like spirit hates that for you and wants that. Or maybe you find certain friends and then you have 10 of swords, seven of swords, you're having to move on. 10 of wands, kind of packing things up and moving forward. Um, or let's say you have a friend circle or connections or whatever, and something happens in those circles where there's a lot of chaos or dysfunction um, and you have to dead things, or maybe there's drama of some sort or some s sabotaging behavior. If this is with a partner, it's this um, maybe a tendency to kind of choose the wrong people who don't value, totally value. So you end up doing a lot to compensate. If this is work, this is a boss that doesn't see your value or clients that don't see your value. So you almost are giving so much of yourself, but you don't feel like you're getting the reward from this. Spirit wants to stop that. Um, they want to pour into you. They want you to, they want reciprocated connections. Um, I'm actually going to shuffle a little bit more because I want to see what is 10 of wands here and 10 of swords. What you might be coming out of a period of serious transition here. Yeah. Three of pentacles. Again, this is about collaboration and commute, not community, but like being acknowledged by others so you might be I heard like team building spirit might be wanting to open the door for a very lucrative amazing team for you so that things aren't full of potential but crumble somehow like something that seems like it's full of potential but like when it starts going it starts to fall apart. It starts to crumble. It starts like somehow it gets sabotaged in some way. This is something that spirit wants. Um, the right, just the right resources to support you. Um, I don't know why, but I spirit is kind of talking to me about what you might be attracting. You might be attracting people who promise a lot, but under deliver. So you might end up having to take on the burden or the labor of a friendship or of a business or of the work or a school. If this is a class project, this is someone, the smart, the smartest kid in the room who has their eyes set on the higher college and they just keep getting paired up with such awful, um, like the, the students that don't really care as much or they have they have a lot of like visions but not the the ability to see it through so they're all talk they'll be like oh yeah i'll do it and then they're maybe they might be overly involved in sports or maybe they are in high school and have a baby early so there's a lot of things that are taking them that kind of sabotage this the success and it's like this the, if you chose this pile it's almost like you carry and pull everyone along with you I, I genuinely feel like spirit is wanting you to have more collaborative um, connections. Yeah, three of swords, queen of wands. Yeah, you, um, I just feel like you're, you have, you're just full of, do you see how we have um, 
three of swords here and it's like the woman dragging this person um, to their safety or to somewhere that they need to go or be. And then we have the queen of wands who's full of life and full of potential and enthusiasm. And she just almost seems like, just like, oh, here we go again. You know, it's funny too, because the card that seems the happiest is actually the 10 of swords. And it's like, but do you see how she's on her knees, kind of like cleaning someone else's feet? I genuinely feel like you might, you'll be actually happy to see something end here. All right, let's look at your oracle. So first card we have, yeah, okra, fortitude, and confidence. So that's number one. Then we have close encounters. Very interesting. Emphasis on encounters. Then we have ears wide open. Very interesting. Then we have after the rain, silver lining, relief, hope, mercy, it's over, and acceptance. This has ten of swords written all over it. And I just genuinely feel like this is going to bring a lot of rest to you. Like even ten of wands, it's like as soon as you drop the load, you're just like, whew. I d Spirit is saying like, I don't question that you can do it and carry it the load or whatever this is, I just want you to have relief. I want you to have, you know, to be able to let this burden down. And I, I, do, I do feel like with the ears wide open and close encounters, these are going to be cards that talk about, for me, I just hear like what you need to say or what you're doing or the gifts that you have or the, the vision that you have, you're going to start, you're going to say it to the right people, the right time, and it's going to like open the door for you. Let me look at Close Encounters really quickly in this book. It's brand new for me. Um, yeah, vulnerability as a strength, letting others see your wounds as well as your strengths and setting healthy boundaries. This is a time of connection that asks for you to be vulnerable and authentic. Let go of any social masks or constructs you use to keep yourself apart from others. Lower your shields and allow yourself to step into a dance of intimacy. When you become close to people, you remind yourself that you're not alone. You're part of a beautiful, meaningful bond. At a deep spiritual level, there are so many lessons offered to you in the closeness. At a social level, intimate relationships help you ignite the spark of life that is the power of affinity. You flourish as a result of offering emotional honesty, a true desire for equality, love, friendship, and laughter. We aren't meant to be alone. Exactly. Some of you guys have really been doing life or something by yourself. And I just feel like that's going to end. It's almost gotten you to the point too where you feel like you're overlooked, overseen, overshadowed in some way. And you have to do like the work you have to like do the work by yourself like you have to do it all by yourself it's kind of weighing like chip, chipping into your own in, internal confidence and I don't want to say your value but it almost makes you feel like you're not being seen or cherished or wanted This could be in your work. This could be in your life. This could be in your relationships. Hold on. So let's look at ears wide open, number 33. What do we have here? Ears wide open with this little fox. Deep listening as a gift we give to others, understanding someone else's needs, showing focused attention, tuning into another, and letting go of the ego's need to be heard. Yeah, it says when we feel insignificant, it's easy to overexplain ourselves and attempt to get acknowledged. Now's the time to let all of that go. Offer your attention as the great gift that it is. It's time to stop multitasking, checking your phone, thinking of what you're going to say next, and doing all the other things that keep you from connecting fully. Whenever you're in a state of chaos and distraction, paying attention to only some of what is being said, we lose the ability to pick up on everything, including that which is not being said. Purposeful, often open listening is an act of true respect and intimacy. When you are in this space of receptivity, letting go of the need to be heard or to be right, you become expansive and alert to meaningful potential. Right now, keep your ears open and you will find more than you are searching for. So 
I just genuinely feel like what spirit wants to do is break you free from overcompensating, overdoing, being overlooked, and they want you to have true, genuine connection and intimacy. This is going to be such a relief for you. Like, I, I remember how I said the happiest card is the one where things end. For you, I feel like it's this period of fortitude and like constantly being overlooked and having to kind of figure things out on your own for yourself or even for others. And spirit wants you to be seen. And this collaboration energy is more about like people seeing your worth and your value and equally contributing to it. And so that you feel prosperous, so that you feel abundant, so that you feel thriving. And the last card we have here is Moonlight. It's interesting because I feel like sometimes with the moon, it's like that can, I'm, I'll speak for myself. At one point in my life, I had a lot of friends around me, but the moon always felt like my closest companion. And it knew all of my secrets. It genuinely knew my heart. And I, even like at a new moon, I know that there were other witches at that time because then it started becoming more popular um, that, you know, they would be working with the new moon and everyone's like new moons, new beginnings. But I would always feel sad during the new moon because I couldn't see my closest confidant, my friend, the moon, my mother, you know, at the time, I would also consider her like a mother figure. And um, so I feel like the moonlight is you really allowing yourself to or spirit with the road opener type of energy. It's about bringing into your life someone who sees you like how the moon sees you, how you can, you share your secrets and you share your magic and you share your mystery with the moon and you whisper your intentions and you whisper your heart to the moon. This is something that spirit is trying to open the door for you is to find the the soulmate, the friendship, the connection, the person, the, the people who collab with you, connect with you so that intimacy can be shared. So that it's not just the, the, the vastness of the universe that sees your magic and appreciates you and values you, but also someone else or someone's else. <laughs> I hope that makes sense, my loves. Um, if you want this candle, the road opener candle, it is available for you guys in my shop at bahadilife.com. Um, also, I will link it down below. But until then, thank you so much for sticking with me during this reading. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, my loves, if you chose this pile, the third pile and the largest butterfly wing, this is your reading. So as I was cleaning the deck for you, like cleansing the deck, I heard, how long will this last? Like that's, that's genuine the question that spirit told me. So I feel like for some of you guys, you, I'm hearing like you suffer with like a timestamp, meaning like you are thinking that something has been ex an expiration date and you're resistant to it or you're not wanting that like are you you don't want something to end which is interesting because the other piles like the one before you was actually ready for something to end and you I don't know why I'm getting this message right now of um not wanting something to end or having to say goodbye too many times or say goodbye to something um with the road opener candle and this reading, basically what we're asking is, what does spirit want to open the door for you? Like, what does spirit want to do for you? Wow, the Seven of Swords has just shown up in every single one of the readings. Um, which makes a lot of sense because Seven of Swords is something that eludes us. It escapes us. We can't get it right. We can't see it. Um, and the road opener... If we did see it, you know, maybe we could fix it. But if this is that thing where we scratch our heads and we're like, why won't this work? Why can't I heal? Why can't I find love? Why can't my business take off? It's like seven of swords. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what is it? Um, three of swords, seven of swords, the devil card. What does, what does spirit want to open up the door for you? I'm really getting the strong sense that they want you to 
move away from they want it's not even so much what you're walking into as much as it is what you're walking out of which is interesting because with the road opener energy this is about usually it's about opening the door and removing an obstacle i don't know why i'm getting this really strong sense that your your obstacle is something that was in the past this could be trauma. This could be a heartache. This could be something with the devil card here that you just can't, you've been having a really hard time letting go of. Like it's something that you might not have accepted or it still hurts you. It still haunts you. I just heard it sucks you dry. So it's like it, 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 it takes, it takes from you in some way. So it's interesting that this is a road opener when I actually feel like in this reading, it's, this is almost like a door closer. With the Ten of Wands here and the King of Wands reversed, this might be a masculine energy, of course, like and even like a fire sign. Um, but really what it is that I'm seeing is some of you guys might have not been, you feel like you're not fully pre heal, healed. I don't know why I'm hearing the word fully prepared to start life again or to venture out or to, it's like you, you, you might have experienced a hurt, tried to work on healing from the hurt, and now you're exhausted from the healing and the hurt itself. Does that make sense? So wild to me, but that's exactly what I'm getting here. And it's like the King of Wands, it's like this is a person who got knocked down and is normally very ambitious, normally very spunky and lively and even adventurous and confident. And I just am getting a strong sense that um, from this Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, Devil type of energy here, whatever it is that sunk its teeth into you, it's hard for you to kind of pick up. You know, it's I'm almost seeing someone who is like a marathon runner and they've been training and they love running. And it's like, what if they practice so much or what if something happened that hurt them while they were running that it's like they are having a hard time picking themselves back up and getting back in the race. And they something that they once loved now feels like it just takes everything from them. So when they stand up, they even when they they don't even want to walk, they used to run. They don't even want to walk. So this is something, this is very similar energy where it's like something just hurt you so bad or some things continue to hurt you that picking yourself up from this feels like it's it takes a lot. And even the healing has taken the most out of you. It's draining. Um, yeah, Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. I was going to say like, what is opening for you? your power. Wow. What is opening for you is your power and your life and your fight and your zest and your exuberance. It's almost like with the road opener, it's like you've been having such a hard time opening the door to walking away from this pain or recovering from this pain. It feels very emotional and it feels very like, like, life-changing like this, this is the type of pile that may ask like will I ever be the same again well has the old me is it is it oh my god Nova just barked and scared the shit out of me um can you ever go back to the old you or like is she lost or is he lost forever um will you ever find love again like the love for running or the love for this yeah, five of pentacles reversed, you guys. Exactly. This is an energy of like, do you see how he's crumpled up? I just get this sense of like emotional crumpling, like something that you may be strong in some sense where you're surviving, but it almost feels like, I don't know why I'm hearing like at what cost. That's a very scary thought, like, but it's like, ugh. so what is opening for you? Hold on. Yeah, we have the moon card here reversed. And then we also have the three of wands. But yeah, this is what is opening for you. This is exactly what it is that I'm seeing. Um, success. Like, it's funny because the three of wands is 
actually being expectant of the future and knowing that something's good coming in or something is coming in, in your case, what's, what spirit wants to open for you is your like power, like your, your power and your sense of not hope, but like belief in the future and your belief in like happiness and joy and like fun and travel or healing, like a deep healing. Some of you guys, I don't know why I'm hearing like something that's making it harder for you to stand up after in this five of pentacles is almost like comparison where you might see other people who have gone through more that you feel like gone through more than you. Um, and you're just like, well, they're, they're not feeling what I feel like they, they've gone through quote unquote more than me and they're doing fine. Like I should be able to do fine. And spirit is like, spirit really doesn't like that for you because in the, it's a delusion, it's an illusion, pain, or like the percept, not the perception of pain, but what other people might be feeling and experiencing. It's just, just don't compare yourself to that. What is opening for you is just genuinely this, or what spirit wants to open. You're going to have to call this in is the ability to stand back erect again, to be strong, to be powerful, to be confident and self-assured. And it's not fake, not to say that you're not that, but it's like you, you, it doesn't burn you out. It doesn't, it, it lasts, you know what I mean? It's something that lasts. It's something that I'm also seeing like healing where you're like looking for the future, looking towards the future with expectant eyes and even celebrating the future because remember I said in the very beginning it's like it's interesting that this is a road opener reading and I almost feel like it's not so much you opening the door but as much it is like closing one and I feel like this is like what spirit wants to open for you is the future a very bright happy totally healed totally light future interesting all right let me push this little wing off over here and let's look at your oracle so first card we have wow wow vulnerability and threat exactly some of you guys with stinking cedar some of you guys were really taken advantage of um and there's been a real threat to you clearly seven of swords three of swords the devil card like this is something that really knocked it, like what's going to open for you root chakra healing like seriously this is a, like a threat to what felt like a threat to your survival your very survival this could be like childhood issues or something that um mirrored your childhood and then when it happened like a betrayal or something awful happened like an accident or something wild like something just so soul crushing for you you're just like, I'm, how do I repair from this? Like, it just hits you different. That's why spirit is also saying, don't compare yourself to how others experience pain because that you can't compare. Like, they may go through the same thing, but they're not going through the same thing because they may have had different support or they may have different foundation growing up to help them be far more equipped to handle or feel naturally supported by this when you didn't have that. So this hits you way harder We have optimism. Exactly. Guys, when I shuffle these cards, I want to say this to you. When I originally shuffled these tarot, right? And the Oracle, I specifically let this pile have reversed these two to be reversed, which they were because I wanted to see, I just felt like this was, it was meant to be that way. And then I wanted to see what was actually re reversed here. So you have rabbit tobacco with optimism and gladness. This is what was reversed. It's like something stole your happiness and your joy away. What's going to be road open for you or what spirit wants you to manifest through road opening ritual, whether with one of my candles or anything else in your life, is to have happiness, gladness, and optimism return your life. Because that's the one thing that's been neglecting here. Yep. Veneration and legacy, periwinkle. Again, this has to do with like, 
the past, like how the things that we kind of stick in, the things that we that stick with us, the legacy for good or for bad, and how we honor it, or do we hoard it, or do we hold on to it? I also want to tell you that there's this message that's coming through right now that we can learn from our past, but we don't have to repeat it. And I just genuinely feel like what's opening for you is to not repeat the pattern of the past. Or let's say if you're a product of divorce or dysfunction and you may have, you're going through a divorce right now and you swore to yourself, I'm never, I don't ever want to get divorced because there's that runs in my family and then it's like you get married and then the, the marriage falls apart or there's you you realize the best thing to do is to walk away and it's like something about that it's like a lot of people clearly you know a lot of people get remarried after they get divorced happily sometimes quick so you may compare yourself and be like well this person just picked themselves right up why can't i do that because they may not, again, their experiences and their legacy that led up to who they are now is not the same as yours. And you may have a different, you, you have totally different experiences. So Spirit is saying like, what is opening for you is the optimism and the gladness and the very thing that hurt you the most. Not in like celebrating the fact that it hurt you because that's not the case. It's about thinking it's what it needs to open for you is the path to not repeat that from happening so that you can actually experience the joy of it, of this being a success, of this actually working out, of this being everything that you hoped it could be plus more. Because right now you're feeling like five of pentacles in this thing, or maybe in life where you're just like, I just can never, I don't see myself. How can I pick myself up? You know what I mean? Let's see what else that we have here. Yep, waking the lion. This is the strength and the fight within you. And some of you guys, as soon as I say fight, you're like, Jess, I'm so tired. I I totally get it. But this is exactly what I'm, I'm saying with the road opening. It's like, what is going to open for you is your strength and your, your power and your fire. Not that you have to fight again and that you can't be vulnerable or that there is a threat that's going to be threatening you. But the fact that like, that will never happen again. And that door is closed. It's interesting too. It's like a flip flop. Like the road that's opening for you is your future. And at the same time that that road is being opened, spirit wants to close something else and make sure that it can't come back in. And the only way that this can happen is generally, I believe, spiritual interception. You know what I mean? Like spiritual or intervention where it's not just you um knowing the right formula for how to make that not reoccur but spirit guiding you yep the uncharted sea for some of you guys you stopped exploring for some of you guys you stopped venturing out for some of you guys you stopped seeking um and spirit says that you have the compass here you're being called into a different direction some of you guys may have you you question your compass you question the compass and you're like it led me to tank my ship before because I couldn't read it or because I I could read it, but the storm and spirit is saying like, that did happen. And we're gonna close that door while we open this uncharted sea for you, new territory. Yes, a burst of magic, you guys, it's the Lotus. This is about rising up out of the muck in a way that like doesn't even logically make sense. Like how did she rise up? What is opening for you? The lotus, the lotus within you that says like, regardless of the muck, regardless of the shit, regardless of the, the, the stankiness of whatever, I'm still going to bloom. I'm still going to let my perfume out. You know what I mean? I'm going to still be all of who I am and love my life in full and love everything in full and love myself in full. Even if I, I right now don't feel like I'm capable. That's what spirit is, is wow, wow, wow. You have released the petals. 
literally release the petals. It's like you've been so like a bud, like a flower that can bloom, but you're like, last time I bloomed, someone plucked me or crushed me with their foot. And now I'm scared to bloom again, or I'm scared to be violated because if I stun them, then they're going to be attracted and they're, I'm going to be vulnerable and there's going to be a threat. And that's exactly what spirit is saying with the, with the road opener energy. We're going to close out that threat and open the door so that you can bloom in the way that you're meant to without having someone or something trying to come in and try and crush that. It says release the petals, transformation, death and rebirth, shedding all change. Exactly. This literally hits the nail on the head. It's so funny because when I started this reading, I'm like, there's this energy about like the past and like something that happened in the past that spirit's not saying for you to let go of like and move on. Like, it's not like that. That would be really harsh. It's just saying that the threat of the past cannot touch you as you move forward into the future being all of who you are okay yeah ghost lands guys this is the card of the past yep sad embrace and one ring circus one ring circus might be controversial for some of you guys where you're just like i don't want to be a one ring circus but really what i'm seeing with this is that things like the future is in your hands now because you you have your spiritual team really looking out for you. I don't know what had to have happened to put you in this place now. I just know that spirit is wanting to, again, close that door, close that chapter so you're not living in it anymore. And it's not showing up again. And that there's, maybe there's like a, a deeper healing that needs to occur that will help you to stop kind of somehow reverting back to this way, this old ghost land or like recreating it somehow. Ghost lands is like not your reality, but it's like your perception kind of leads you to co-create that reality or look for things that are actually sad because that's all you know to expect. So you just end up accidentally becoming the leader of that circle circus. But right now, this is what spirit is closing out is those echoes of the past so that there is a new a new venture like there is something new and abundant that's going to be growing for you and it will be beautiful so call out to your angels and your guides light your candle write your petition let them lead you let them lead you into this and maybe the lotus now moving forward is going to be your in your totem that speaks to you and says listen this is how you're going to know that this is happening. This is what how you can know to trust the situation. This is how you know that this is the place for you to bloom because you'll see the symbolism of the lotus. I really hope that makes sense, my loves. Again, like I said, if you want the road opener fixed candle, it's available in my shop. We'll get it out to you as soon as possible so we can get this magic working for you in under seven days. Until then, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.